So there's one more concept that we want to talk about um, here in this section um, related to concavity, um, and that's a, an application concept called the point of diminishing returns. Diminishing returns. And there's a lot of eyes in that word, diminishing. Okay. The point of diminishing returns is a point that that relates to this picture um, graphically. So I have this idea here. This is concave up. And through here, F prime is increasing. Right? So that means I'm getting whatever is happening, I'm getting more and more like a steeper and steeper rate as I um as I change whatever whatever I'm changing, right? So here's my point. I'm I'm getting more out of my function the more I change. And here when I change to concave down, F prime is decreasing. And I start to get less and less kind of um a less the rate is actually decreasing. So when you talk about diminishing returns, um, you talk about we're talking about this inflection point here, where I change from this increasing rate to a decreasing rate, and it is this point right here, diminishing returns. Inflect. This is the inflection point where I make that change, and it it kind of gives you this idea that I'm getting in some in a lot of um, these application problems, less bang for my buck, right? Uh, right around here when I'm getting a pretty steep slope, depending on the application, like when I make a small change, that makes a huge change in the output. And assuming it's something good, then, then I might want to change that. Here, right here, it starts to level off. Do you see that? And I'm getting less and less return when I make that kind of additional change or like extra production or whatever it is. Okay, so let's look at an example problem. A company uses this model for revenue, and it's a relation of revenue, which is R, in millions, right? So maybe I'll write that millions of dollars to the amount of money X it spends on advertising, so advertising expenses again in millions of dollars. Okay, so I'm putting, this is the idea, I'm putting this amount of money in and I obviously want to get something out of this investment. And this point of diminishing returns is kind of the point at which putting more and more in is the rate just slows down and is kind of going to eventually level off and not actually be giving me this sort of return on investment that I want. Okay? So to find this point of diminishing returns, it is an inflection point. So I go through this process again to find um, these hypercritical values. So let's find R prime, 20x minus 2 thirds times 3 is just 2x squared. Um, R double prime of x is equal to 20 minus 4x. So I get a hypercritical value. Let's solve again where f double prime is either equal to 0 or undefined, right? This is defined everywhere, so I'm looking for where it's equal to 0. 20 is 4x and 5 should be your x value. Five million dollars, you start to see this kind of shift um, in return. Okay, and I just need to confirm that this is the picture that I'm moving from concave up to concave down. That here, right in here, when I'm investing money, that this kind, this will shift right here. Here I'm getting good return, and right here it'll start to kind of 
level off. Okay? So let's see. Let's just make, we'll just go ahead and make this same chart that we have been using at five. And let's do the test interval. Oops, I don't want to write everything in red. So again, I'm not starting at minus infinity because this, um, did you see the, this only is good from zero to 10. Do you see that right here? Zero to 10. So really this interval is from zero to five and from five to 10 that I'm gonna test. Get a test point. Let's test four and six. And let's go ahead and find F double prime of the test point to test for concavity. Okay, so an F double prime is this four minus or 20 minus four X. So this would be 20 minus four times four, four. 20 minus four times six is negative four. Okay, so that's the value. This is a positive and this is a negative. And that means I do and should be getting this picture where it's concave up here and concave down here. So the point of diminishing returns is at x at five million dollars and the idea is at that point the rate at which my additional investment um, is paying off begins to slow down so at this five million dollar point the rate that revenue increases due to an increase in advertising um, investment, right, or sp expenditure starts to slow. So it still can be, the derivative can still be positive. You can still see a positive correlation between, let's say, expense on advertising and revenue, but you just begin to get less and less um, change out of revenue for whatever change you were giving, um, originally getting in advertising, okay? Okay, so let me know if you have any questions.